from beginnerwebsitetutorial.com and I'm here today to show you a new tutorial on how to create a Facebook landing page also known as the welcome page. Now if you're familiar with Facebook fan pages you know they no longer have the default landing tab and what that was is when users go onto your page they will see that welcome page automatically and not your wall as what Facebook is doing now. So what I'm going to show you is how to make your landing slash welcome page and also how to send your visitors to that page. But before we get into that, I want to show you how a landing page interacts. So let's go over to Under Armour for Women. So here we are on the Armour Facebook page for women and they, as you can see they have a welcome tab. So we're, I'm just going to click on it since I'm not a fan. And here you see it says like on the Armour women for exclusive Armour bra content. Now this is telling the users, the non-fans to like so that they can get exclusive content. And so I'm going to click like since I'm not a fan and see what I get on the other side. So here is their like page for their fans and only fans can see this page. So we're going to go ahead and create something just like this or similar to this rather. Uh, for fans and non-fans. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do at the top of your Facebook search is type in static HTML and you'll see the tab. So for every tab that you want to create, you'll choose the first, second, third, fourth, etc. So um, we've already had a few tabs. I'm going to go click on the sixth tab. So just make sure you look for static HTML and that app. When you get to this section, it's going to ask you add static HTML to a page. So it's just confirmation that this is what you want to do. So I'm going to press add static HTML to a page. And it's going to actually choose a page that you would like to install this app to. So I'm going to go to Stilettos, fan page in Stilettos. And I'm going to press add tab again. So there's another conf confirmation of adding the tab. And you could see many tabs here. I'm going to show you where this tab is. I'm going to click on the downward arrow and you see there is a tab that I've created. So what you want to do to edit your tab is again you click on the downward arrow, click on the pencil, and I'm going to go to edit settings. Right now it's named welcome 6 so I'm just going to name it welcome. And I'm going to press save on that. And I want to change the image as you've seen in the previous video. I want to change the image of the tab. So I go to change, change again, and it opens up a pop up window. And I'm going to go choose file. So I'm now going to locate my image for that particular tab. Okay, and here's the welcome tab. So now I'm going to close out that pop-up window that Facebook opened up and I'm going to press OK. Mm -hmm. So now you see the tab image is now here. So what I want to do is move this tab image up a bit. We're in the replacement of fans and you can do this for any of your tabs except for photos. Uh, that's always the default first tab. So what I'm going to do is click on the pen, pen um, excuse, excuse me, the pencil again and I'm going to say swap position with like and that's with this tab here and there we have it. So now I'm going to click on the upward arrow and close that out. Close that out. So now let's go over and edit this welcome tab with a little bit of content. So here we have your public content and your fans only content. Now the public content is for anyone who is a non-fan will see this image or whatever content you put here, non-fans will see this content just like we saw in Under Armour. 
so non-fans will see this content. Fans only, this section here, is only for people who have liked your page. So you definitely want to say a message in the public content, hey, like, so you can see what's on the other side in the, in the fans content area. So instead of a bunch of codes, we're just going to cheat a little bit and we're just going to use two different images uh, for public and for fans only. So the first image I'm going to use is for non-fans. So I'm just going to put in the image code IMG SRC equal. So that stands for image source. And this is where I upload my image to the blog. And I'm going to put the closing tag. And that's the image. So you can upload your image anywhere that you have a website or a picture up uploaded. Uh, all you need is to have a .jpeg at the end or a PNG or a GIF. Any of those extensions will work just fine in Facebook. Again, a JPG, PNG, or a GIF, any of those will work fine in Facebook. So you can use your WordPress block to upload your image or whether you have a uh, FTP, uh, Tumblr, uh, Pinterest, wherever you upload an image, just look for the extension where you can find the extension at the end and you can put that in to your Facebook page. So I'm gonna go now to save changes and I'm going to preview what I've just did there. And there go our public content. So it says like fan page and stilettos for exclusive fan page content. Now because I am a admin, I cannot see what it's like to uh, for the fans. So even for you, when you create your welcome tab, make sure you log out your account and log in as someone else who's not an admin of the page to see how the fan and the non-fan works. That's the only way you can test it out, uh, not being an admin of the fan page. All right, so now let's go back and edit the fans area. So here again, I'm gonna go ahead and put an image, an IMG image source. And I am going to save this image. And now I'm going to preview. So again, this is the public content. And now this is the fans only content. So what you can do in this area is you can actually link this to somewhere else. You can link this back to your default page, which is the main link of your page. And that's, that's going to go to your wall or you can link it somewhere else or to another tab, but um, it's best to just link it back to your wall. After you say thank you, you can definitely link it back to your wall or outside source. So linking to a tab involves clicking on the downward arrow, top, clicking on the top right where you see the pencil, and then you go to link to this tab. So here's the link for the welcome page slash landing page tab. So initially if you want people to go onto this tab, here's the link that you will have to send them. Now I know it's a bit long, so here's what you can do to shorten the link. First thing you do, you highlight the link and just copy it. And I'll suggest you go to Bitly, which is a link shortener, and you can just paste the link and have it shortened. And then you can just copy it and have this link used as your fan page welcome uh, page. So it's pretty simple. Again, just go to link to the tab and go to a link shortener to use that page as the um, use that link as your welcome tab. So whenever you share that, you can definitely just use that link alone. Uh, but for the most part, however, people do know a lot of people, users do know how to like Facebook page these days. So they will press like if they like you either way, and they do have the option as you see here. You could say welcome. Or you can also say, you know, start here so that they will know to click there and link to your um, your welcome page. So those are two good tips I recommend using a shortener, also utilizing the tab image feature to say start here or um, anything that just, you know, uh, gives them a heads up like, hey, click here so you can like us. All right, so that's how you will create a landing page and go get around the whole default landing page issues. If you have any questions, please post it below in the video. Thank you.